Hello and welcome. Next I like to show you that what break parts and break uh, those disc parts I can lubricate with oil and grease and what I can't lubricate. And then we continue. Okay, hello and welcome. Next I like to show you that that when we are doing this brake uh, brake system lubrication and service that what parts in this brake system in car or pickup truck or motorbike and motorcycle I can lubricate and use this specific brake greases like that one what is metal free paste and there is actually picture that I can use this, these products for this very hot and temperature resistant it is like white white grease and this is specific products for brake parts and in what areas I can install this stuff in my brake system and this is my uh, topic today and first one when we take this our brake pads normal area is always that area in here and in that area I can insert that my grease in all areas in that outer area remember only outer not in this inner area and then these upper holes in that area I can insert this my this specific grease and there is also some other grease what is suitable but in that point I can install this grease and what is the benefit if I lubricate these brake pads then this brakes uh, works better and there is no those brake issues because normally when brakes become old and brake parts then they become stuck and they are not movable and then we have bad issue in our brake system and that means and these areas I can insert and also in that areas what are these support points where brake pads goes and it happens so that I insert in my finger grease and then by the way use gloves do not ever insert this grease to your skin because these stuffs they create cancer and, and it is like poison always use this recycle specific this gloves but protect your skin Okay, and in that area I can insert glue this grease and also in that upper area, this is fine. Then those parts move well, well. And then if this grease goes to this brake disc, like in here, use always clean, clean cotton cloth and immediately clean those creases away, this disc, brake disc area. Because it is wrong place. Okay, in that area I can insert, and then we have one area left. What is this brake caliber? And in here, in this brake caliber area, what is in there, I can insert this my grease in that area. I take more, especially in this area. And what takes contact to brake pads, this is good. And then this rubber sealant in here, I can insert even in that area lubrication. And there is actually a little bit better this brake, this rubber lubrication, but, but if we insert in there a little bit grease, it is not bad. And then that other side, what is in here, this area, I can insert in that area in here this lubrication. Okay, good. And then, then I can insert what is next. When I have this, this uh, bolts, what, what are keeping this brake, brake caliber in this position in here, and these parts goes in here. They are also good to lubricate. in that way that I insert in here this grease and then they are really easy to install these bolts in back back in here 
in that way, and then they, there is no any corrosion. And then final step is that, that if we have those, like in that car, there are those movable joint bolts, what are in here, we can lubricate also these, because all moving parts needs this lubrication. And now I made so that I use only one this brake lubrication, but we have even very specific, little bit better creases for some of these specific points, like this rubber area and then these areas. But, but this, this uh, metal free paste is better than nothing, and the idea is that all parts move like in that way. Movement is the key. And the best way is to check that when we take our fingers and then if they move nicely, everything is okay. And then if you notice that some part is stuck, then you need to take it out and lubricate. So easy. Okay, and now I think that I, I cover all of these main areas and this was this information. And thank you for watching that video.